So you've decided to replace the fill valve. Maybe it's leaking, or maybe it's got some damage of some sort, or maybe you're just looking for greater efficiency. This is the guy here we're talking about. We're going to re be replacing this whole section in the float real quickly. The first thing you do is turn your water supply off. And once that's off, drain the toilet as far as possible. I usually just hold the flapper open until as much water is gone as possible. And then you can use a sponge or towels or whatever you need to. Also doing a quick change where you've got the old one ready or the new one ready as you pull out the old one and you can swap them quickly. Um, you'll still lose some water, but with some towels or maybe a small bucket, you can control that as well. Now, um, the next thing we need to do is detach the supply line from the fill valve. You'll still get some water even though you've turned the supply line valve off, but that's okay, that's normal. Then you'll loosen the nut at the base of the fill valve. Sometimes you can do it by hand just by pushing down on the fill valve. Now, if you're going to try and do a quick change, you want to have your new fill valve ready at this point. As soon as I get this one out, I'll show you how to prep the old one, and then you would just swap them quickly. And there's that. We'll remove this nozzle here off of the flush valve, and the old fill valve comes out. You can see it has a conical gasket at the base of it. Your new fill valve, the vast majority of them come this way. This is its securing nut that goes on the bottom of the tank to hold it in place. This is used for plastic tubing supply lines. Most of the time it gets thrown away. This is the attachment that allows your secondary fill tube to fill up the tank, or the bowl for you, I should say. And here you have two gaskets in one. They simply punch apart. This is the actual gasket for the fill valve. Uh, it goes on it before it slid through the hole. This gasket is used for, um, like I said, plastic tubing supply lines or some other different kinds of supply lines. Uh, it's not going to get used in today's case because our supply line has a rubber gasket in it. Now, the new supply valve itself comes like this the most common ones. We're going to insert that gasket here. Now, we're also going to need to adjust its height. The easiest way is to match it to the height of the old valve. So we can see that it was quite a bit taller. You simply hold it still while unscrewing like this until you get the right height adjustment. It's pretty close. Now we will, that's pretty darn good right there. We'll make some adjustments to the float adjustment here as we need to to get the water level where it needs to be. Now, the only thing left to go on is the tubing. That goes over to fill the bowl. We simply place it on here push it on till it's flush, put it in its hole, and then determine what we've got to do with the filler. This clips on like that onto the top of the flush valve, like so. And then we'll just need to cut the tubing to length and make a mark. <clears throat> Having all your tools within reach is a good idea, by the way. Um, get the tubing where it needs to be. Figure out a mark. Be careful whenever you're using a sharp tool. It presses into place. I'll take the clip back off so you can see. You're just going to press it into place there. Just like that. Clip it back on the flush valve, like so. That will allow water to enter and fill the tank. At this point, we're going to put the securing nut on the bottom. It really doesn't need to be more than, much more than hand-tied at all. 
I usually push down on the fill valve while securing the nut. That compresses that rubber gasket a little bit. Almost there. Just a little bit of light downward force. You can feel it get good and tight. Resecure the supply line. Once that's on, not much more than hand tight also. Turn on your supply valve. Let the water line, let the water fill it up. See how close it is to the line. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, you can adjust where the float sits when it's completely closed to get that water line zeroed in perfectly. Make sure the water is coming out of this area also to fill the, the bowl. And once it's operating properly, flush it a time or two. Make sure it gets right back to the water line where it's supposed to and that it's stopping clean and you should be good to go. And that's the replacement of the fill valve.